Hey everyone! Welcome to this video where we'll be solving the expert level Los Angeles Times Sudoku puzzle for October 10, 2023. Let's get started. Let's move to number 1. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 1 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 1 can be placed. No other boxes have just two candidate cells available for the value 1. Let's move to number 2. Only two positions left in the third box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 2 can be placed. Let's move to number 3. In the seventh block, the number 3 can be directly placed. Let's move to number 4. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 4 can be placed. Let's move to number 5. In the third block, the number 5 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 5 can be placed. In the eighth block, the number 5 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 3 can be placed. Let's move to number 6. There are no cells that can be filled with it, and there are no boxes with only two possible positions for it. Therefore, we will skip this number for now. Let's move to number 7. In the first block, the number 7 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the third box where value 4 can be placed. Let's move to number 8. Only two positions left in the third box where value 8 can be placed, please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. In the fourth block, the number 8 can be directly placed, please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 2 can be placed. In the eighth block, the number 2 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 2 can be placed. Only nine is missing in the seventh box. In the first block, the number 1 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the first box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 4 can be placed. Only 3 is missing in the fourth box. Only 9 is missing in the third column. In the third block, the number 1 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 1 can be placed. In the sixth block, the number 1 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the third box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 3 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 5, value 3 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 4. 
Only one position left in the eighth box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 3 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 6, value 3 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 7. Only one position left in the third box where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 1 can be placed. In the first block, the number 3 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 6 can be placed. In the third block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only 9 is missing in the second row. Only two positions left in the second box where value 6 can be placed. In the sixth block, the number 6 can be directly placed. In the fifth block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 3 can be placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 6 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 8, value 6 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 5. Only one position left in the second box where value 6 can be placed. Only one position left in the first box where value 6 can be placed. Only 8 is missing in the first box. Only 8 is missing in the second box. Only 9 is missing in the sixth column. Only 7 is missing in the fifth box. In the ninth block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 6 can be placed. Only 7 is missing in the fifth column. In the sixth block, the number 7 can be directly placed. Only 9 is missing in the sixth box. In the ninth block, the number 7 can be directly placed. Only 8 is missing in the ninth column. Only 9 is missing in the eighth row. In the eighth block, the number 8 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 4 can be placed. Only 4 is missing in the ninth row. Only one position left in the third box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 2 can be placed. Only 9 is missing in the ninth box. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!